This week on Country Music Junkies, we're catching up with our good friend Ryan Laird. Ryan, you've got a new single out, Wear Me Out. Let's talk about that. It is a really cool song. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, I, I'd, uh, I guess I'll tell you how I wrote the song. I was uh, in Nashville and, um, you know, I, I got married recently at this past uh, August. And um, after after I've been married for a little while, uh, you know, we were hanging out down in Nashville where we live now. and. Um, I got together with a few of my songwriter buddies down there and told them, you know, hey, it's been really awesome to be married, and it's, uh, you know, it's been uh, one of the biggest thrills of my life. And and, I, and but you know, there's been some definite changes that I've I've noticed, and one of the most observable things has been, uh, you know, since I've been married and in a serious relationship, like, you know, a lot of my clothes have gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> And, the, you know, my my songwriter buddy in Nashville got a good laugh out of that. And uh, they told me, oh, Brian, you know, uh, don't worry about it, man. You know, we've been in serious relationships ourselves for years. And, uh, you know, our clothes always go missing all around the house, too. And I, I said uh, to them, yeah, it's like my, you know, every time I go back into the house, uh, you know, my sweats are, you know, my wife's wearing my sweats out all around the house. So we're kidding about that. And uh, as songwriters do, right, we picked up the guitar. Well, it's a very cool song, and for fans who haven't heard it, how can they check it out? Um, yeah, you could go on iTunes or uh, pretty much any of the internet um, <laughs> mediums that are out there nowadays, you know, to to be able to uh, to, to hear it. Um, yeah, it's available up there, and uh, I guess, you know, pointing people to my website is probably a, a good way as well, just ryanlaird.com, and then there's, there's links on there that you'll be able to get to it. Now, you mentioned that your wife kind of inspired this song. How did Jaylee kind of respond to hearing this song for the first time, knowing that it was inspired by her? <laughs> I think at first she was a little embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think she, she liked it, though. Uh, uh, truthfully, I think she liked it. But I, And that's, that makes me think it's funny, because just the other night at one of the concerts I played in, uh, in northern British Columbia in a real small town called uh, McBride, BC, uh, I did a, a community concert for pretty much the whole uh, town at their at their local theater. It was a lot of fun, and uh, when I got to playing that song, Wear Me Out, I told them a bit of the story that I just told you, and uh, with the difference being that I, I said, and my wife's here tonight in the crowd, and then I, the spotlight went down on her out in the, you know, sitting out in the saucy theater towards the back of the room she was, and uh, <laughs> And I think she went bright red, and I embarrassed her and told Aww. everybody about that story. But it was—it was really. Uh, uh, I thought it was romantic, anyway. So we can ask her sometime. But <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so again, fans, be sure to check out "Wear Me Out," Ryan Laird's new single. Great tune, Ryan. You've been busy. You've been touring around. You've been writing a lot. You've been performing. Kind of take us through some of that and what you've been up to. Yeah, I have been writing a lot of songs um, over the last couple of years. Um, you know, I, I write for a music publisher in Nashville as well. So for folks that uh, aren't too familiar with that, basically, you know, I get together with um, other, usually there, it's in Nashville, although not always, because with modern day technology and, and with me being an artist on tour a lot with my traveling um, tours, um, I use Skype and things like FaceTime, you know, or we can sort of do video conferencing online and I'll get together with another songwriter. And, um, or if I'm in Nashville, then there's an abundance of, you know, songwriters that um, reside there. So we'll get together and kind of share our, share our ideas. Um, I usually save up, um, you know, a list of titles or uh, like little pieces of music or little uh, lyrical quotes that I've come up with, you know, maybe that I've just been inspired by um, at some random moment in my life. Um, it could be anything like seeing, you know, a couple sitting in a coffee shop or something like that. There's so many. Or I should say if I'm up north uh, in either Ontario or BC, 
Tennessee or somewhere like that, you know, uh, even getting to see some of the wildlife up there. You know, we've uh, run into some bears on the highway oh, and stuff. Wow. It's been really, really fun. I'm always joking to my wife, oh, I really want to take a selfie with one, but uh, I never get up that close. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's probably <laughs> But, uh, you know, so it just can be random things that inspire the songs, but uh, I'll bring in an idea and, uh, you know, we'll collaborate together. Um, sometimes I write by myself, but like in the case of my new single, Wear Me Out, uh, for example, you know, I collaborated with... Uh, actually a couple other uh, Nashville songwriters and we'll just share all our ideas and pull out the musical instruments and um, once we have the three elements of the song together like the music, the lyrics and the melody and the rhythm, um, you know, that's pretty much what puts it all together and uh, sometimes we finish it in one, you know, one sitting in a few hours or that kind of thing and sometimes it's one of those kind of songs that, you know, we keep sort of um, continuing to work on for extended periods of time until it's done so Right. And so it's it's never really the same. Like I've written songs in forty minutes that are done, and I've written songs like in forty days. <laughs> right. Now you also mentioned uh, when we were chatting a little earlier offline about your bigger than that school tour that you've been doing. I know that we chatted a little bit about that the last time we spoke, uh, but obviously that is still going. Can you kind of fill fans in on that if they hadn't heard about it before? Definitely. Yeah. Um, when I was a youngster in school, I was I was picked on. Um, by some other kids uh, around the, the time of middle school for me because uh, I moved to a new school and I wanted to, um, you know, uh, I wanted to make friends in my new school. I mean, I was a, I was a new kid at a new school, you know, so, but I was also kind of shy, uh, but I, you know, I worked up the courage to get on stage in front of the whole new school and perform at the talent show and I thought it went really great, but I ended up getting made fun of after it was mm-hmm. over by you know, people at the new school and uh, and one person in particular. So I, I ended up writing a song all about that experience, and uh, it, it was on my last album. It's called Hey Ashley, and um, and that kind of led to um, my sister in law, who's a child and youth counselor in schools, approaching me a few years ago, saying, you know, after I'd obviously grown up and become an artist and whatnot in country music, and she said, Hey Ryan, you know, would you use your uh, your country music um, celebrity and also just sort of some of your life history um, and, and talk to these kids that I'm working with at my schools about, um, you know, your story and how you learned to overcome um, some of the, the put downs and the negativity when you were their age in school um, to kind of turn it into a positive for your, right. you know, your life and that. And I said, oh yeah, of course. I mean, I would, I would love to try to, you know, use my voice as an artist that way to give back. So I went into her schools and, and did these concert like assemblies uh, in in their school theaters or their school gymnasiums, um, depending on what they had. And, you know, it, it went so great. I mean, the kids just responded phenomenally that um, that kind of planted the seed for what eventually became the Bigger Than That tour, uh, where I, I wrote a song with uh, another Canadian uh, we know as Dwave, Dave Thompson from the band Wave, and, mm-hmm. and um, all Bigger Than That. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, we just, we turned it into a whole tour. I, I mean, I never could have, I, I could actually have imagined it, but I, I'm really happy that it actually did turn into something this large where we've we've now visited over 350 schools across Canada. That's and, incredible. Uh, well over a quarter of a million youth have, have got to be part of a bigger than that event. And uh, it's just really like an uplifting, inspiring event where we, uh, you know, share a lot. I share a lot of music and a lot of information with the kids about, you know, some of the, the hurdles that I went through in my life um, to sort of um, achieve my dreams and, and then I, I really try to use it as like a motivating force for them to always pursue their dreams and never give up no matter how much someone tells them that they're not good enough. Uh, they need to remember they can always find a way to be bigger than that and that's what I I let them know and, and it's really interactive too like the, the microphone opens up to the kids a lot and, and uh, you know if you some of these schools are large you know 800 to 1,000 kids well for a you know, a, a grade five, six, seven, eight student, or, you know, we do all ages, but for one of these kids to get up on the mic in front of all their peers and, and share their dream uh, is a really big thing for a lot of these kids. And uh, I get a lot of social media interaction from the students and their parents afterwards saying that, you know, they were often uh, really thankful that they got to do that and that they, you know, uh, you know, ultimately believed in themselves enough to, uh, to get up in front of their whole school and talk like that. Absolutely. That is incredible. That is so cool. And uh, if fans want to check out more information about the Bigger Than That tour, where can they go? It's just biggerthanthat.org. And uh, we're constantly on tour from September to June um, across Canada right now. We're in British Columbia. 
Columbia for for this month. Uh, you know, just wrapping up um, a multiple date uh, uh, tour with bigger than that, um, and then we're coming to Ontario for the month of November. Uh, and what we often do is uh, Monday to Fridays. You know, during the day times, I'm often in in schools uh, presenting bigger than that uh, to. Uh, you know, to various youth in communities all across Canada, and then um, depending on where my sort of my artist career tour schedule takes me, like because I'm playing concerts in uh, British Columbia this month, and then in uh, in November in Ontario, and then in the New Year we'll be starting things up again, uh, beginning in Alberta in January. But you know, I'm I'm often playing concerts, so what we can do is often uh, arrange during the daytimes to visit schools with the bigger than that tour, since I'm coming to a community anyway, and and you know for a concert and uh, with my new single as well we're visiting a lot of radio stations so we're, I'm kind of doing three different elements of my touring right now which uh, keeps us pretty busy. I can imagine that is crazy but it's awesome and it sounds like you're having a lot of fun doing it which is great. Uh, again fans be sure to check out ryanlaird.com be sure to check out his new single Wear Me Out a uh, very cool tune and uh, Ryan thank you so much always such a pleasure. Thanks so much for uh, supporting country music.